Do you like this top? It's so gay. Really? Yeah, it's totally gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. <laughs> say what? Well, say that something's gay when you mean it's bad. It's insulting. What if every time something was bad, everybody said, oh, that's so girl wearing a skirt as a top. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute jeans, though. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I got to get away from this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my buckle, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 1093. Going live. Back again. <coughs> Second day in a row. We got Dusty the Cockatiel back again. We'll do it live. We're we doing got, it live. We got Dusty. I'm sure he's going to add a lot of commentary tonight. Uh, we we usually don't have Dusty, and when he is on, he does a lot of farting and squawking. Yep, I like that. I feel like it's competition, so I'm going to not do a lot of farting today, hopefully. No, that doesn't that's <laughs> gonna happen. Everyone like the stream if you haven't already. Uh, this is our second show two days in a row, and then tomorrow we got our Patreon private show. We'll get into all that in just a second. Uh, I am very tired. I am I am incredibly tired. Did you not sleep? I didn't sleep that late. I, I slept. I went to bed pretty late. Um, I was in Discord chatting with some people last night, and I was editing my submission for Actual Mania tomorrow. Okay. So there was okay. that. So there's, there's a lot of fun stuff coming up. I'm, I'm excited about it. These Actual Manias have taken on a life of their own. Yeah, we have all these people trying to make their name in Actual Mania now, like the uh, Star Spangled Magicus and the, the other guys. And Magicus. Uh, Magicus is, well, I don't know which one's Magicus anymore. It's all so confusing. When they get unmasked, we'll find out that one was Magicus and one was Louis C.K. the whole time. I knew this was going to happen. And then they both jerk off in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> with consent. Of course. It's just with consent. Of course. Consensual jerks are still not okay. And we'll get into the actual Mania card in just a moment here. I wanted to remind everyone that immediately following tonight's show, we will be doing our live reaction to uh, Brent Spiner's book uh, that is basically about Gail Cord Schuler. We're getting a larger and larger audience every night when we do it. Yeah, last night's, last night's entry, I think it introduced... Gail, like the way that the letter was that letter and yeah. the, the music played was like a very erotic music it was very interesting I, I, it wasn't like erotic it was like it, like it was, romantic was, that's what i meant yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the difference it, between the two <laughs> okay yeah it was uh yeah my idea of romance is spitting in her mouth okay uh yeah so yes like the stream also, uh, the orders are, are coming in already. Uh, check out our new sponsor, Vance Global. They're giving our listeners 20% off their entire order if they use coupon, coupon code PEASANTS at checkout. And what is Vance Global? Vance Global are perfectly legal products that get you high uh that are they're they're federally legal some states have outlawed them but those are states you don't want to be in any anyway. are these thc o or thc zero i think it's o because it looks like a zero on the package but it looks like an o in the text i think it is an o okay so thc o and delta eight both get you high i hear thc o has like 
like psychedelic properties to it. I haven't tried it yet. They're sending us some samples. If you guys get any, let me know if you liked it. If whether you got the gummies or the cigarettes, they sell a, a, a whole carton of THCO cigarettes. So that's like two hundred cigarettes. Two hundred dubs. Yeah, quit smoking regular cigarettes and just smoke yeah. these. I mean, I put, it could help you quit smoking. It's a better day when you um, smoke Vance Global. Yeah, yeah. They have pure CBD for those of you who don't want to get high but want the benefits of just CBD, which is great stuff. They actually they they sell like hemp flour. This is like high CBD, no THC flour. That's that good stuff right there. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, link in the description. I have it pinned uh, in the chat, too. Go check it out, at least. Go look and see what they've got. And if you decide to buy anything, we get a cut of that, and uh, you can get 20% off. Yeah, and you can be happy for the rest of your days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whew, uh, we, we, all right. Tomorrow is actual mania, right? Yes, so I wanted to go over the... Uh, you know, we have the, the card uh, for Actual Mania, the King of Cringe. Tomorrow on Patreon, $5 and up gets you a front row seat. You don't want to miss this because it's going to be crazy. We're going to have Marshall Mathers, the fourth, uh, the winner of the Hella, Hella in Cell match. The Hella in Cell match. Going up against Honest Red, who has sex. We're He's going to have April happen. Elizabeth, or Elizabeth April. Elizabeth April. Versus Amanda uh, Art Van Groh. Art Van Groh. In a, in a cuckoo... Uh, one for Karen, the cuckoo man. nest, cuckoo Karen. We're gonna have a tag team championship on the line. Our new tag team champions, Cool Taste and King Cobra, are gonna go up against Midge and Biscuit, the drag queen newbies, as recommended by Egghead. And that's right, the Cringerweight Championship is on the line. Andy Dick, your Andy Mania champion, will go against Mexican Andy, Asian Andy, and Chicken Andy at King of Cringe. But that's not it. We got our champion, Ben Pie. Cooking in the the cringe kitchen against Kay's cooking, and uh, like you said, you already uh, have been editing your submissions. So. There's no way she's gonna recover from this. Wow! And of course, the king of cringe title from Smarty, who debuted a, a, a bad out of hell against Egghead, will be on the line in the King of Cringe main event, ladies and gentlemen. All this and more can be yours if you are a Patreon, five dollars and above. Get $10 and above so you can hang out with us tonight after yeah. the show for the Brent Spiner Book Club. You're getting so much extra content now. It's it's the best day of your life. Every day. So much extra content. I mean, we were, I, I think we were doing it for like over an hour last night. Me and Jeff got drunk and chatty with each other. So it like. You guys talked Star Trek quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You were saying words like Odo and. Odo, yeah, and uh, something else that I can't remember. Uh, we were we, we were talking about trills and how they like live with like a symbiotic being in them, and when like the host person dies, they put it in a new person, and that person basically has all the memories of everyone else that's ever had it inside of them, which is crazy. Yeah, and you brought up the Ferengis. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of Star Trek talk that I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. But the book did reach a very interesting boiling point. Yes. And I'm excited for the next chapter. I, I, I hate having to put it down, but we have to put it down because we have to spread this out as long as possible. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's good. Um, We're getting good episodes in. So yeah. those of you that want to become $10 or above patrons, it's uh, well worth your money. Yes. You're getting all kinds of extra content. You can binge watch it all, too. Yeah. Uh, so... Wow. Um, yeah, uh, I am like, I kind of um, was feeling sick to my stomach uh, when the show was starting, and I kind of, I, I, I kind of dread going into what we're about to go into. Uh, we're gonna start with the fun, lighthearted side of it, and then we're gonna get to some serious shit. Eventually, you guys should all like the stream. This is a very special episode of Drunken Pisces. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Uh, warn your, warn your children. Warn the world. We're gonna get talk get about off. serious Warp business. The show was almost over last night. Wow. Maybe later tonight. Twelve-hour days suck.
Here's all the dono I would have done five dollars at a time. Thank you, Seth Thank Looks, you. for for back pay. <laughs> you madman, appreciate you. Madman, appreciate you. All right, uh, here we go. I, I keep your eyes peeled. This is gonna be. This is a wild ride. Um, I had like earlier today. Actually, I'll I'll play the intro and then we'll get into it. Here we go. Let's get into it. So earlier today, I always wake up and see what Jared does because he posts like 10 videos a day, not literally, but a lot of videos every day. He's just like a fountain of, of just trash content to make fun of. And uh, I, there was a funny video where he like he reads all the hate TikTok comments that he gets because he's like trending on TikTok like more and more every day. And you'll go to his TikTok videos and it'll say he has like 300 comments on his video. But you go there and there's nothing because he deletes oh, all of them. Yeah. Um, so in this video, he reads. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're you're an adorable bird. I wonder if there's a bot we could like get that would read every comment left on a Jared video and save it before he can delete it. Maybe that um, would be fun. So here's Jared reading. He makes videos about TikTok on YouTube, which is very counterproductive. <laughs> Uh, but he's an idiot. I've never used productivity in Jared in the same sentence. Right, right. So here he is reading hate comments against him, pretending like he's not mad about them and that he's not butt hurt. But it's clear that he is. It's great. Here it is. And, he, and any normal person would download OBS and screen cap this and read it like and 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 put a camera up he's obviously got a webcam jared you could use your webcam to film you and then use obs to film your screen so that like you the webcam has your face on i don't know why i'm i, I like, or I you could use your webcam to film you doing one of the crimes that you do and send it to the police for evidence so we can cut to the chase and lock you up that's also an option oh we'll get to that all right, you guys, I've got a little fun video for you today. Let me just turn up the brightness a bit on my computer. <laughs> okay. That's another thing. If you just used OBS, you, you wouldn't have to turn up the brightness. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> Reading hilarious um, comments from TikTok. This is going to be good. And uh, all I can say is, God help these people. They're all lost souls. And I honestly feel sorry for them. But let's just... He always does I this. got my inbox open here. Let's I have a little bit of fun. So, South Florida says, You brought this on yourself, saying you would date children. Uh, I wasn't being literal. You're an idiot if you thought I... No! Oh, he no. wasn't being people literal? People have asked you, and you're like, Yeah, I think that. I, this is how I think. And if you don't agree with me, you're an ageist. Yeah, you've literally said that people are ageist for not accepting that you like underage kids. You're specifically saying ageist because that means we don't trust children to make their own decisions, which is kind of what our society's been built upon. Uh, so for people who, who are asking uh, on, on TikTok, he's Jared Juggernaut 86 and on YouTube, his name's Jared Genesis. He has a bunch of old channels out there, so it's kind of hard to find the new one. But he's out there, and you'll find this video on his new channel where he's uh, reading these comments here. I would do that, but okay. Uh, someone does need to check your computer. <laughs> She's talking about the FBI. Uh, okay. You don't know anything about laws, and I, I would I would assume you're just a brain dead liberal. It doesn't take the FBI to check your computer. Like the local police could check your computer if they got a warrant. And you live in Texas, and the laws for this kind of stuff, the the whole like talking to kids on the internet is they have some of the strictest laws out of any state in the country. Uh, so it's. 
to have like to exchange sexual images with a minor in Texas is a felony. The one good thing um, about Jared is that there's no way he knows how to wipe his hard drive. Right. So he's he's that computer illiterate. Right. So like he'd have to destroy his entire computer. <laughs> so if we control him <laughs> into thinking the cops stone. are coming and he destroys his entire computer if they don't come, that'd be a pretty big win. He's too, too lazy to even do that. <laughs> he'd just sit back and be like, nah, it's cool. But finally move up my FBI parents' house, would go to jail. No right to do that if I wasn't an actual uh doer of those things, which I'm not. Yeah. You're doing something like I, I doubt you get out of your house much. So physically, uh, maybe you haven't done anything, but you're doing other things that are just as illegal uh, and just as wrong. So no, but again, I don't expect you to understand that because the majority of you on TikTok are brain dead liberals. So here we have Ray Ray just liberals owned again <laughs> talking to her friend. I love it when people do this on my channel. It's like they just talk to their Yeah, there's din digital forensics where even if he did delete a bunch of shit, a lot of times they can usually pull it out. Yeah, still most of friends them. like they at people. They don't even have the balls to talk to me, I guess. I don't know, but and of course this right here, this is a word all the zombies love to say. Uh, I'm not even going to say it. I want to give him that dignity, but that's the word. That you just made a video the other day saying it. When, like, bl weird black shit came out of your mouth when you did it, too. So I don't know what that was. It it looked like chewing tobacco, but I don't think it was. I don't, I don't think, think he can afford it. Yeah, I don't think he can afford it, and I don't. I honestly don't think he's into that kind of stuff either. So it, That's their only insult because they're so brain dead. It's either this or chud. Those are the only insults. I'd way, I'd way rather be called a chud. <laughs> Those two things are not this. Uh, I mean, like, they're both bad things to be called. But what's a chud? I don't know what it means. Uh, there's different definitions, like Urban Dictionary. Like, it's I, I hear people like on the left call right wingers that a lot. Huh. Well, you know, of course, there's incel, but and I think that word is starting to die off now. It's um, not dying off. But uh, here we have Queen Laquifa. Oh Lord, I I want. <laughs> I don't even want to know how many guys you've been with, sweetheart. You you have that obvious thousand cock stare. What? Look at that beautiful thousand cock stare. From He's you. just over here talking about how yeah, I think people are done calling people incels. It's kind of tacky to call someone an incel. And he's over here a slut shaming. Look at that thousand breath. cock stare. Which I do think incel is like. It's the same as slut shaming, but in reverse. You shouldn't shame somebody for the amount of sex they have on either end, really. But here's the thing: we do because it shames people, and it's funny to shame people. It's it's ha ha when you call someone a slut, and ha ha when you call someone an incel. So I'm gonna call you a slut. I'm gonna call you an incel, and I'll probably fuck both of you with consent. Not Jared. Um, bodybuilder and something about fitness. Laugh emoji. Laugh emoji. Laugh emoji. And. I don't expect you guys to get it, but you can still be fit and have a gut. But you're not fit. Yeah, you can still be fit and have a gut. Like, there are NFL players that have, like, big guts and stuff. But they're fit because they're professional athletes. Remember they train. Scott Norton? Uh, yeah. Wrestler Scott Norton had this big, huge gut, but yeah. he was a monster. Yeah, he was a legit shooter. If you don't believe me, uh, check out sumo wrestlers. They're some of the best athletes. In You're the not a sumo wrestler. And sumo wrestlers are only good athletes in a very particular, like, department of right. athleticism. Uh, you don't see uh, you don't see sumo wrestlers running track or anything like that or doing the high jump or something. Yeah, it's a very specialized, specific sport. We have a. It, it becomes a lifestyle. You like live where you train and you eat a specific diet. And you do very specific exercises. But yeah, they're athletes. You're not. They actually work hard at what they do. You work hard on nothing. Well, there is something you work hard on, but we'll get to that. World, But um, I'm glad that you guys are exposing yourselves as the fat phobic pieces of crap that you are. <laughs> He's really going there? Because you always preach tolerance. But see, this stuff right here, man, <laughs> this exposes you more than anything. Uh, Love Spring Flowers. What a beautiful name. Let's see if she has a beautiful comment. Kids should not and should not be doing, 
You having trouble should, reading? And should not be doing. I don't know. I what think you're she did type poorly. To say, sweetheart, but your punctuation is terrible. You don't even use punctuation. Uh, this person is obviously triggered, and uh, I'm the last person to make any judgment. She's talking about my video where I said, "Judge not, lest ye be judged," and I was exactly right. These Christians are so hypocritical coming on my channel. Um. So let's move on to the next thoughty. Here we go. <laughs> Luna's Majestic. I have so many thoughts coming on my channel. All these triggered cat ladies, you know, that are that are mad because they hit the wall and they can't get a date. Is that what and they're so mad they about? they just project it on people like me. It sounds like that's what you're doing. It sounds like you're projecting the fact that you can't get a date onto yeah, other we people. We know you've hit the wall and you can't get a date. And right. you attempt to date underage people. We know that. You know, men who aren't simps, they hate my kind, dude. And that's all this is, guys. You need to understand this. They hate men who are red-pilled. They hate men who don't simp for them. And the majority of hate comments I get are from women. Jared exactly. is red-pilled in only the worst ways someone can be red-pilled. Right. He's not like this uh, alpha male that's that's red-pilled to work hard and and earn and and support a family like the red pill really is like built upon those are like the strengths of being red-pilled is that you're a provider and, and you know you're a family man he's the solar opposite you like this this is what i'm getting 90 percent of them and here's another bitch who hit the wall. Uh, you'll definitely get what's coming to you. I'm sorry to tell you this, but like these comments don't do anything for me. I know what kinds of people you guys are, and I know how you try to bully and harass people who aren't like you. You're gang stalking trash, and your threats don't scare me. So I just want to make that very clear to all of you. I'm standing up to you, and I'm exposing you. Uh, go fuck yourself. You don't scare me one bit. And when I see cucks like this, I mean, really, like, who would be scared of a face like this? Travesty 7, I'd be willing to bet a 7-year-old could kick your ass. Probably even a 6-year-old. So, <laughs> okay. you want to talk about kids and stuff, I bet, I, I bet kids could kick a lot of your asses. I really do. Just looking at your cuck face, dude. Oh, uh, but he's not butthurt at all, right? Six year old, no this isn't problem, a bunch dude. of coke coming out of him. Just walk into a first grade classroom and pick a fight. <laughs> so anyways, you call him a fart face too um, while you're at it. You know these people with their stupid insults. They're just uh, all they're doing is, you know, projecting. That's all this is. They're projecting their sad lives onto me, and. Um, you're projecting projection. If that helps you at the end of the night, go ahead and do it. You know, I know how to take a punch or two. You guys obviously don't. You're weak-minded people. You get triggered over words, over people's opinions. That, to me, is a definition of a coward. You're a bunch of cowards, and you're, I honestly pity you. You're saying and things to sexy predatory trobles, towards children. Don't you dare speak the name of it's Jesus with a name like sexy trobles. You also have a thousand cock stare. You're a disgusting whore. A thousand cock called, stare. Yeah, the red pill he swallowed was just liquid Tylenol gel caps. <laughs> the thousand cock oh stare line was really funny the first time I heard it. Not from Jared. But the fact that he's picking it up, it, it bums me out. I want it to be funny. But it's not going to be if Jared uses it. I'm a triggered thought he was simps, according to him. Remember that? He just spewing cope lingo says negative creep. Yeah. For real. He he was simping hard for negative creep back in the day. Yeah, that's what I remember does. all he, his he, thirsty comments. He slurps and then flips all the time yep. with everybody. Uh, did you get your haircut idea from the movie Dumb and Dumber? No, I actually <laughs> got it from your mom. Uh, she gave oh, what a, what a great insult. Me the haircut, and she also gave me a wicked your BJ mom. afterwards. Oh, a really? Wicked, a wicked BJ. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Whenever somebody uh, lies about sex, I assume they're using terms like wicked to describe the lie. Wicked. Wicked B. When I hear someone say wicked, I think they're from, like, Massachusetts. I can't wait for the day. Oh, I, I love comments like this. I love it, Zach. Thank you. I can't wait for the day someone introduces you to a very fun amendment or a chippy... <laughs> What's the matter, Zachy? You're too scared to do it yourself, little boy. 
You see, these guys, it's funny how, like, they're scared when they threaten me. They won't full-on say they're going to do something. Well, yeah, they don't want to get kicked off of TikTok. Uh, they, they literally, so they have... full-on saying you're going to do something, it's it's illegal. Like, you, you can't threaten people online. Right. So, for them to say that they hope something bad happens to you, I mean, I don't know if that's illegal. No. I, I, th- I think you're allowed to say they hope a, yeah, a free you can say that. you over. Things like that. They're That's very... the difference. They wish ill on you, but wishes and prayers are about as effective as uh, Jared at a dating date night. They're scared. They're very Speed timid. Speed dating, Jared. And they just say you know stupid shit like that. Or they'll say, like, you know, I'm coming for you. I hope Which you could... read my comments I left today. Did we? Where were they? I mean, chances are he deleted them if they were... He deleted everything. If they were dele- if they were negative in any way, he deletes them. Mean anything. Keep an eye out if you watch them before deleting them. So, like, his videos on TikTok will say that he has, like, 300 comments on a video, and there's literally none Yeah, if, any- if anybody's watching right now and left comments for Jared, and then Jared deleted them, you're welcome to send them to us in the form of a $5 donation, and they will not get deleted. <laughs> get read live on stream. Yeah. No one has the balls to say they're actually going to kill me because they're a bunch of pussies, and they never would. Um, But anyway. So, yeah, more hypocritical Christians. You can read it yourself. Um, What else we got here? Yeah, if somebody said they were ever going to kill me, uh, it would never happen because they're a bunch of pussies, and uh, I don't get pussy. (laughs) Hope we meet in person soon. Isu5580. Did your um, ugly thought girlfriend tell you to say that? Because I know you're on a leash, pussy. (laughs) I know that she told you to try to intimidate me. And I know you would never do anything to me in real life. I like like how Jared uh, can't think a man would be disgusted by his actions. So he assumes there's some fictional woman dating this man. Right, that we don't even know about. It's so funny, the, the, the depth of delusion. You know, with you, with your stupid fucking little beard, your stupid fucking your little, stupid you know, little picture beard. of you driving a car. <laughs> Go ahead, try to ask. Uh, yes, people drive. What? Like you're giving them shit for driving a car? Like, like most people have been driving since they were around 16 years old. Most adults drive. You don't because. You're too lazy to get a license, and you're probably a danger to people on the road. It's probably a good thing that he doesn't have a a driver's license. It's probably a good thing he doesn't have a bus pass. Yeah. Gary, whatever helps you with your insecurities. Uh, Really, I don't mind at all dealing with you losers. Uh, This one says, in science we trust. We got ourselves an atheist here, guys. Someone who hates her father, because that's why she hates God. I'm so glad when you finally make it to jail, they won't let you survive. Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. You would not last one day in jail because you're an entitled, stupid, brain-dead liberal. And someone like you is so spoiled to the point where they just cannot survive without a man showering them with gifts. I don't think Jared understands how cush women's prison is. Well, and and also, like... (laughs) Jared can't survive without other people taking care of him. So it, the him saying other people can't survive because they need people to take care of him is hilarious. With money, you are a thoughty. You're a disgusting person, and I pity women like you. You will die alone with cats. Oh, but you're not mad, Jared, right? So you're not mad. You know, it's just these people are so brain dead. They just say the same thing over and over because they have. Right. I mean, like it is a low effort post to just call someone a PDF file, but they're saying it with reason. You know, Uh, they're saying it because you are one. (laughs) Doesn't doesn't take much effort to say it's raining. But if you're going to warn people about the rain, might as well say it. Right. No brain cells. And, guys, all I can tell you is this. Like, the zombie apocalypse is here. What? These libtards, these... I love how he's turning it into, like, a political thing when it's just really not at all. You know, SJWs... The the best part is the left is probably closer aligned with his agenda than the right is. 
The right why? Because the right thinks everybody is a, a yeah, but a they PDF file but, that needs to be but, outed. No, they don't. They like to use that as like go to slander to like discredit people, even when they know it's not true. And the left is and they they demeaned the actual meaning of the word. The left is trying to push like the the map agenda about how there are minor attracted people and they need to be respected in our society. Who? There's a whole lot of that. Who? Can you name me someone with the actual... Vice article that came out trying to support sex offenders this week? The Vice article? Yeah. Um, can you name someone that's actually in a position of authority in the government that's left? Uh, with with research, sure. Okay. They're they're complete zombies. And I was just telling my friend John this. Shout outs to John Howling Wolf. People like this, they don't they don't know what tolerance is anymore. They don't know how yeah. to actually honest you know. is they're talking about non offending exactly okay there's a there's a big push for non offending minor attractive people to get like a respect in the society they don't have and it seems to be a left driven agenda to get respect that's yeah a, what do you mean well there's there's a lot of hatred towards these people and if they're non offending then it's like you have to what exactly are they trying to get them like you say respect the, remove the mean? stigma that's on uh Are you sure minor about attracted people like i said take people's opinions yeah respect so people's lost. not murdered things like there's, that there is an there's agenda no hope in that. for these people they're just, just there's no hope man these people have no future their children have no future and i honestly feel sorry for their kids because they're brainwashed you know by these kinds of degenerates but um, I think that's all I can take, guys. <laughs> it's really mind-numbing to see all this trash and all these sad fucking people. Uh, like I said, these are just projecting people with miserable lives. You know, they talk about me living with my parents. They all live in a shitty apartment. They drive shitty cars. They're haters. You don't have a car. Like, how can you talk shit about anyone else's car when you don't have one? Haters are not successful people. They're you are not successful in anything. Bunch of just fucking losers. And I can promise you these people He's not were offended, also picked though. last in dodgeball. You know, th these people were bullied in school. They have a lot of anger, anger built up inside of them, and that's why they threaten me. It's because they're no, just They literally so are attacking you because you are a predator, or at least you say you're a predator. You could be LARPing as a predator, and that's weird as fuck, and it warrants a response like this. ...of hate, and they just, you know, they expose themselves, guys. So you're welcome to go back and read some of the ones that I didn't. Uh, that's all I could really take, guys, so... I made it through ten minutes of complete autism and mind-numbing bullshit. You could have read through them while you were deleting them one by one. But I just want to say this before I end the video. You know, the saddest thing about all of this is I left my Minds.com account for them, and I said to anyone, we can have a mature conversation. Not one person messaged me. Not one single person could just try to have a mature conversation with Here's me. Here's the problem. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see how a mature person could have a serious conversation with Jared. Like, well, what do you get out of it? He said he would date people as young as eight years old, there's evidence that he is DMing people he believes to be underage and sending them uh, wiener pics. <laughs> I'm more than one. I know. Dusty knows. <laughs> Dusty knows. They're that weak-minded. They're that cowardly. And they're just that full of hate to where they couldn't even do it. Not all the thousands of people. Not Jared's one of them could. just mad because the only titties he gets to touch are his own. Hey, hey, Red. hey. Some of us have nice soft ones. Do it. Shame on you. Really, you guys are disgusting people. And it makes me he sick to going. know a lot of you guys are parents. You're complete trash. God have mercy on you. All right. So there's that. That is Jared totally not being mad. Here is, here's a TikTok video from Jared. All right, TikTok. Uh, we'll make this short and sweet because, honestly, I have better things to do. This isn't worth my time. What do you have to do? What? Sleep? Jerk off? Eat? Go to the bathroom? Grow mold? Yeah. But uh, you guys might have heard of this book. Uh, it's called The Holy Bible. And... Um, you know, in this book, it's a really great book, 
and God makes it very clear, Jesus makes it very clear, judge not lest ye be judged. Um, I have some Christians coming on my page. Hi guys, how's it going? Jesus loves you. Uh, the thing about it is, guys, you really don't know me from Adam and Eve. And when you make these snide remarks, you know, these very smug remarks about how, you know, um, I need to be saved. I need this. I need that. Uh, I don't normally see people saying you need to be saved. <laughs> I see way worse than that, usually. You guys got to realize when you point a finger, okay, guess what? Three, finger, three fingers point back at you. Oh, God yeah? did not put you on this earth to judge other people. You know why? Because we all have sin. Original sin, baby. That's right. Um, I had some really, really lovely demonic souls, uh, you know, spew their venom on me. Looked at their profiles. You can tell they love Lucy, little Lucifer. And I don't expect anything from them. I'm I thought you were talking about the uh, human, like the the earliest human remains found. Lucy. Yeah. I'm talking to you directly. Stop being a hypocrite. God frowns on it. Oh, dropping truth bombs. Uh, here's, uh, here's, I think this video got taken down from TikTok. It's Jared doing part two of him pretending like he's calling the FBI. He's like playing the FBI and then also the people calling the FBI. And it's weird how he just like mocks this. Uh, yes, this is the FBI. I believe you called yesterday. What can I do for you? Pitiful? Pitiful? Did he say okay. pitiful? Pitiful, yeah. I would agree with that as well. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? I'm glad you called because I have some things I want to tell you. First of all, I... Could you imagine if someone that worked for the FBI dressed like this? <laughs> they probably have to when they're undercover. The FBI field office, they need to block out the sun with skateboards. And like a trash bag? Is that like a trash bag? Looks like it. Red Jared's that has a bunch of holes comments. In it. Uh several people of you several of you people are now on a list because you actually threatened his life. Um just thought you should know that. And Can you show us the list? Also, um, to you parents out there, stop being a bad example to your kids. Oh, the look things at that Jared you Genesis. are really disgusting. He's got kids a thousand cum stock, thousand cum stock stare. About, thousand cum stare. He's got stare. a thousand cum stock stare. Me being an awful person, uh, you guys really need to look in the mirror. Need to look in the mirror. All right, here's here's him. Uh, mocking the concerned people on TikTok. Uh, yes, hello, this is the FBI. Uh, oh, actually, I already saw that. We already saw this one. So, I can confirm that the authorities in Jared's area have been contacted um, because some information was recently made available that I thought would be irresponsible to not to just sit on and not do anything about it and then like talk about it on a live stream. Um, I, I, I couldn't do that. So it, it the uh, the county sheriffs in uh, Jared's county that he lives in have a way of uh, submitting reports. Uh, and we're going to show you the stuff we have now that uh, that we felt the need to report. Don't know if anything will come of it. We've done this in the past uh, and nothing ever came of it. But these. Uh, so there were uh, there were some DMs leaked. Uh, and Jared admits to some really interesting stuff uh, in it. Now, Chris Chan admitting things that were illegal were enough to get her locked up. 
Yeah, so, there was an investigation, and then they're in court, and we they've been don't in jail know. for over a year. Yeah, we don't know if Christine will uh, be committed or not, but definitely steps were made towards that process, and we can only assume that this might lead to that. Jared said, "No doubt, I've had cyber sex with really young ones. A lot of really? them seem to know a lot. I guess the internet helps a lot there. Maybe one day when those kids grow up, they will end the stigma." So when I, so what I get from this, the way I interpret this, is that he had cyber sex, which means uh, sexual stuff. We know he sends dick pics. Really young ones. I can only imagine what he means, like what, what the approximate age would be. They seem to know a lot. He's, he's saying these kids were uh, were knowledgeable in the ways of that sort of stuff. And the, it was the Internet. And hopefully someday their experience with Jared when they become adults will help to end the stigma. Um, Didn't we have uh, DMs of him when he thought he was talking to like a eight year old or seven year old or five year old? I mean, or something? yeah, there's a ton of that stuff. Uh and he says, yeah, very true, but I think at the end of the day, the P will be added to LGBTQ, LGBTQ sooner than you might think. So he's saying the P, meaning PDF file, uh, yeah. being one of the alphabet soup letters in the LGBTQ plus, uh, the, the P will be there right after the, the Q. Right. He says, there. really, it kind of already is. It's just not fully accepted. Once that happens, my haters will have nothing on me, and they will be the ones being attacked for being prejudiced. Just watch. It will happen. Dude. Prejudiced. So, um, yeah. Uh, couldn't in good conscience act like this just didn't happen, you know? Uh, so this has been reported to the authorities. Uh, you know, if you guys... You know, encounter anything from Jared that you feel needs to be reported, you can do the same. I'm not going to, because there's still like doxing rules and shit, so I'm not going to say exactly where he lives, but it's out there. People know. And, uh, you know, the authorities have been contacted. So, yeah. Um, now. Uh, people are asking if this is real from a good source. I, I, yeah. It seems to be. Yeah. And I mean, this sounds like how Jared would talk and how he uh, how he doesn't use punctuation or capital letters or anything like that, which is funny because in the video we watched earlier, he uh, he made fun of someone for not using punctuation. Of course, there, I guess there's always like the random chance that this isn't real, but I would I would lean because he's freely talked about things this way before. I, we we just never had like an admission, um, from him. Yeah. Uh. So we'll see what happens if they come in and take his computer, and uh, find all the evidence. Then, yay. Um. I see people in the chat trying to find his channel. I'll link his channel if you want to check it out. <laughs> um, I'll find it in just a second here. No gang stalking, guys. No gang stalking. Yeah, Jared only gets more gross. Call of cringe, yes. He's uh, fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky says, I can't imagine what is on his computer. I think just physically on the computer, it's probably gross enough. So when Keemstar blew up Jared years ago, he was live streaming, streaming and the cops came to his house and he looked terrified like he thought something like he was about to be put away. So I think he knows there's something that if it's looked at close enough would... Find him in very big trouble. Yeah. Um, and it probably is on his computer. So I just, uh, I linked his channel in, in the chat there. If you want to say hello, you can send our She'll regards. She'll the sandwich guy says he's a Christian but wants to be a part of the LGBTQ community. He wants he wants the, the PDF files to be part of it. <laughs> he just wants to walk in a world where he's accepted for his predatory nature towards children 
So we are going to uh, watch a classic Jared video that I think kind of sums up what a fucking lunatic he is. This is classic Jared. He looks like a different person here. Like, he looks very, very different. And he seems almost smarter for some reason. And, like, scared, like more sinister, I will add, too. Check this out. <laughs> <clears throat> As you people who have seen my videos may know, I cover everything, everything on my videos. I he almost looks high here. I wonder if he was on medication or something. I have no shame. I have no censors. I am the most uncensored person on here. In fact, I will probably have my videos removed within a certain amount of time by the New World Order. So, you know, pay attention to me and what I'm telling you. Please take me seriously. Uh, so he's telling us we should take him seriously. Or if you want to take me as a joke but uh, there's the jared i know contradicting himself in the same fucking video <laughs> in the same sentence hear what i tell you because i can assure you i would not be making these videos if i wasn't positive of myself yeah i'm sure you're positive of yourself even though you literally flip-flop in every fucking video and change your opinion before you change your underwear <laughs> my beliefs <sighs> America has some of the craziest kids some of the craziest adolescents and young children we are out of control um look at what bullying has done to kids they end their own fucking lives they end their own goddamn lives they become reclusive and so psychologically damaged that they can't even function properly who do you blame for this who do you blame for bullying what is the cause for bullying first what well, what are you like are you picking up on, like, how different he is here? Like, the way he... I don't know. He seems, like, medicated or just something is different about him. Maybe he's tired. I don't know what it is. It's of all, a long time ago. Know that bullying exists in all facets of life. Not just with children and adolescents. But I'm not going to take it any further than that. Because I want to make this as simple as possible. We have been conditioned as a society to function a certain way. As I've stated before in many of my videos, the media is conditioning us. This is especially effective on the white race. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. Oh, as a young man recently just told me on Facebook though, the only way humanity will continue is by learning our own differences from different cultures, different races, different creeds. Because that is the only way we will evolve. But understand that the white people struggle most with bullying. And that the white people struggle most with self-confidence and low self-esteem for whatever reason. We are the targets for that. Maybe you have the privilege of uh, worrying about your self-esteem, whereas other people have to worry about other more glaring things. I don't know. When it comes to poverty, you, you really aren't thinking as much about yourself as you are thinking about uh, basic needs at a certain point. Yeah. Now, understand that people that are bullied usually have some kind of malfunction whatever it may be 
They are nerdy looking. They are autistic. <laughs> Just basically the same thing. No offense. But, um. Nerdy. Not nerdy. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Have some kind of defect about them, which makes them no less important than another human being. No, I can. All human beings are unimportant. There's like one percent of people that are close to important, one percent of them that are important, and then one percent of them that can actually benefit from the unimportant. <laughs> not emphasize that enough I am not trying to knock people on this site I know I have videos of me being rather vulgar but that's just because anyone would be that way after all they've been through in their life after all they've dealt with after all the bullshit they've been through I have a right to be fucking psychotic and my own psychosis helps me do you understand? It helps me. You have a right to be psychotic, okay? You have a right <laughs> to sit in your parents' fucking house, make, making a mess, living in filth, uh, creating filth uh, with your filthy mouth and your filthy mind. You have that right as long as your parents allow it. You don't have the right to prey on children. And that seems to be what you're saying you're doing. That's the fucking problem, Sego. Fuck we need Gobes to come fucking start a campaign against Jared Genesis. Because Jared's a, a Cobe fan. There's no way Cobe's a Jared fan. He's a fan of everyone until they figure out who he is and uh, turn on him, and then he becomes their enemy. So, you know, he did it with Camelot. He did it with, with everybody, you know? And then he, like, he did it to Boogie and then went back on it again, and it's... No. The point I'm trying to make here is that people who bully are not necessarily bad people. They just do not understand other people that they bully. And while it may seem strange, it's really just human nature, I suppose. But the people... <laughs> that go do crazy things like shoot up schools can we really blame them for that <laughs> yes i i do blame them yeah. for shooting up schools yeah. uh, i i i feel bad i feel bad that people get to the point where they have to commit violent disgusting crimes against other people i i feel like we should live in a world where people like that are red flagged early on and and helped early on, so it never ever ever comes to that point. But uh, I, I don't I don't I don't feel like like it's it's not their fault. It's one hundred percent their <laughs> fucking fault. Yeah. If you're ever thinking about doing something to hurt somebody else, maybe you should uh, go get some help or help yourself to hurting the only person that you can stop. From hurting other people can we blame them for reaching their breaking what's his rap sheet to my knowledge nothing by now i think that that would be out there because it's all public record if he had been arrested so i don't think he has been i think i think he's very much been a uh he's one isolated of those, one of those incels that are at their computer at their desktop at their discord server they're they're very much wired towards yes, officer, internet existence man right there that man right there officer point after the way some people treat them i'm not putting i'm not standing up for them kind of are i think shooting up a school is okay because good lord that is terrible good Missing lord children dying there's nothing worse than that there's nothing more tragic than a child dying okay but, but look look at the psychology of this this young man that shot up columbine do you think he really 
would have done that just because he was angry at the world. It's because he was constantly, constantly bullied. Is he trying to, like, justify the possibility of him committing a mass shooting? It could be the mindset he's in right here. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. He's like, yeah, you know, like, if I, by chance, happen to do that, I'm just it does, it does have a weird uh, manifesto vibe to yep. it, but it also has like a low T, like a low testosterone manifesto vibe. Like it's a lot of uh, talk, not a lot of walk. Uh, uh, hopefully that continues in his uh, threats. The most terrible of all ways. How can you blame him for doing what he did? Jared's a good example of someone deep as a parking lot puddle becoming wide as an ocean. Damn. Good one. I like that. The dynamite jellyfish says he looks like a young Brett Keen or like if uh, this was a Brett Keen biopic. Uh, you know, as much as I dislike Brett Keen, Brett Keen has a lot more going on for him than Jerry. Oh, yeah. And well, he, he's had sex like more than once in his life for sure because he's got two kids. So, you know, he's had sex at least twice. Um, like who's who do you think is more successful as a human being, Brett Keen or King Cobra? Probably King Cobra because oh man, King Cobra. Thank God this guy has low self esteem because he would do worse if he had the confidence to interact with people. I mean, he has the confidence yeah. online. Well, only people who are too young to consent. He doesn't really interact with anybody. Well, nobody worth their salt is going to spend time interacting with Jared in a serious manner. There's a few people who are either just idiots or like... They might be trolls. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's there's a few of them. They don't seem like it. They seem like they're genuinely defending him. And people are so terribly insensitive there goes Dusty. and cruel. Bye, Dusty. How can you blame him? I know I sure as hell can't. You can't blame him for shooting a school, okay. Well, guess what? I With can. That said, I think that if I struck a nerve, or maybe perhaps even moved you with this video, maybe you should think twice. A person with over 300k followers on TikTok made a video about Jared. So his followers on oh, TikTok God. are going after him hard. It's about to blow up. I mean, uh, it's probably time to put these screenshots out there, too, um, of him admitting it. Like, this is an admission. Yeah, okay, why don't you make a, a TikTok responding to that video with the uh, admission in the, yeah. the video? Blow it up. Egg talk. Before you bully someone else, because who knows? Maybe you could be burying your own grave. Maybe burying your own grave? You mean digging your own grave? You could be <laughs> making your own demise. Okay. Do not underestimate the human species. Do not underestimate what one is capable of, even if they may look like a weak, defenseless human being. Yeah, and I've heard him do this before where he's like, you don't know who you you never know who you're messing with. They might come and pay you a visit. Yeah, that's literally anybody everywhere all the time. You could fucking uh, run a red light and piss off a, a guy behind you and he can follow you and run his car into the fucking rear of your car. There's you, you, you you're at risk of pissing somebody unstable off. All the time. All the you're time. never you're never safe. Odds are nothing's going to fucking happen. So don't worry about it. Be who you are. If you're an asshole, be an asshole. Something will probably catch up to you. If you're a miserable prick, you're a miserable prick. You'll probably end up living 10, 15, 20, 30 years in your parents' fucking house <laughs> in a pile of filth. Oh, wait. No. Look. We can see it's the time capsule here. Too you did. Much of a pussy and a jackass to really to do anything. If people in his area knew about Jared. There's an off chance there would be a somewhat of a lynch mob or at least a Karen protest. As far as I know, he lives in a very rural area. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Like, I looked at the demographics for his area. Like, his whole county only has like 50,000 people in it. So it's not a very well populated area. I don't know. Uh, it just like 
Jared is very open about his intentions and his opinions. He sometimes tries to pull it back a little bit and be like, well, you don't actually understand what I meant by that. But then when people are like, well, what did you mean? He's like, yeah, well, you know, I think kids can consent is basically like literally what he says. So uh, the police said the police in his area should at least know about these tendencies uh, and the fact that he's admitted to doing something that is a crime should be looked into. Um, it, it's it's illegal to do that kind of stuff. So okay. <sighs> uh, I and now now he's like taking a deep breath, like. Who are just shitty, irrational human beings that deserve to be bullied. I think even a good population of those who are bullied probably deserve it in some way or fashion. Perhaps maybe it's because they even choose not to better themselves. As I said before, we have been conditioned to be weak. The government wants us weak. The New World <laughs> Order wants us weak. You notice how he has a drifting eye? He's got kind of like cobra eye. Like his right eye is looking straight ahead. Well, I guess that's his left eye. His left eye is looking straight ahead, but his right eye is like over here somewhere. It's something else. Defenseless, unable to resist tyranny. Laugh at me for saying that, score me. I don't care. I just want you to listen to me, okay? The signs are already coming. What happened in Boston? 9-11. Things are getting worse by the minute, and we have to stand together as a nation, as a democracy. You can start by treating your fellow man better. It's always the best place to start. It is kind of manifesto-ish. It's not. Listen to me. If you're a person that is bullied, you have the ability to overcome any obstacle in your life. Just because you may see yourself as weaker than another does not... I don't want to be too thought police, eh? But intent is nine tenths of the law. This guy has nefarious intent. Yeah, I don't want to be thought policey either. But he's said he's acted on it. Like there's there's certain levels where he's acted on his predatory nature towards children. That's the problem. I mean, you are any less important. It does not mean you are incapable of standing up for yourself. Anyone can stand up for themselves. It doesn't matter if you can't bench three hundred pounds. It doesn't matter if you're not seven feet tall. It doesn't matter. Well, it's all in your mind, okay? Maybe the mind seven feet matter, tall people. thing matters. You can overcome anything. Just believe in yourself. Do not be afraid. Much, many bullies are afraid themselves. Okay, everyone has the ability to be scared. I know I'm an asshole, but I still care. And if I you think care. I am, even after watching this. You better check yourself. You better check yourself. I know I'm an asshole, but I still care. You care about yourself. Yeah. You don't even care about your parents who take care of you. I'm I'm like, what is going to happen when Jared's parents are gone? Uh, I don't know. I hope, it, I hope he doesn't pull a Chris Chan someday. Uh, if he goes to jail, the chances of that happening are a lot less. So, yeah, uh, just to just to reiterate, these were leaked DMs. Jared was talking about this. He's he says he's had cyber sex with really young ones and they were so knowledgeable. And he hopes that when they become adults, they'll normalize this sort of stuff from learning through Jared and that, uh, you know, someday the LGBTQ will have a P for PDF file as a uh, part of it and yeah that's the the more important his... wrap up is that uh the authorities have been given this information they have been. hopefully it will lead to uh, something that stops him from having more little ones or whatever the fuck he's talking about fuck sickos dude this is what when he got on tiktok i'm like huh isn't tiktok like like a lot of kids use tiktok and yeah but a lot of adults do too so it's like I'm sure 25% of TikTok is PDF files. Um, all right. Well, uh, I, I guess we're, we're brightening things up a bit, strangely enough, with Art Van Groh coming up here. I can't believe I said that, but anything is uplifting compared to this. Yeah. So let's, let's check this out. 
living out here. Good morning, beautiful people. I was just sitting here having my morning tea with matcha. <clears throat> and I was just thinking about your modern day gold diggers, how they're always um, pictured in movies and TV shows and the news and real life situations. It's always talked about that there's a woman, right? And this female, and she's gold like digging on the guy because he has a house, he has a this, he has a that, a he has a this. Fight? Sitting here having my tea, and I was like, wait a fucking minute. Wait an actual fucking minute here. There's also guy gold diggers. Now, I don't have much. I do have five acres of what I consider paradise. <laughs> but I have literally been reflecting on this summer and how many people tried gold digging me and using me for what I have. How many bums goes- tried to stay on your five acres with you? Of course. There's bums everywhere. You seem to be the type of person that is at that bum level of society. You probably interact with bums on a regular basis. It's both ways. Yeah, I would. I These would guys, say it goes so. both ways. Living out here is like basically being a Disney princess. I'm sitting there, guided by PCQs, and the spider is like, "Hey, you gonna get up? You gonna do something about your day?" You're just going to sit here. I wonder how much the five acres was. And I'm like, I just want to sit here. I can drink my tea while it's hot. And this better's like, nah, not today. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let me just come up on where your arm's at. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm like, all right. I ain't going to mess with you. So we're up. And um, I think we're going to go for a walk. One of my trails. I think that's what I'm going to do today. And then I have... To meet with my case manager. Oh, God. For some, what seems like made up fucking bullshit that I'm on for exposing some corrupt politicians and corrupt government people and corrupt people in the state. And I got, I got in trouble. (laughs) That's hilarious. Because I remember she went to that like March. Yeah. And then Is that she why she's started, been radio silent? Yeah, I think she said she got in trouble. She must have been threatening people or something. You weirdo, you lunatic. God. Wild. I want to thank the Dynamite Jellyfish for the super chat. Cheers. Case manager. Your case manager. Some, I wonder if she got locked up overnight or it something. It seems like made up fucking bullshit that I'm on for exposing some corrupt politicians and corrupt government people and corrupt people in the state. And I got, I got in trouble. I got in trouble. I just took my second morning hoop of the day. <laughs> they do what they can to survive. Gold diggers want money and status. Art Van Gross has neither anymore. Yeah, you, I went you, through the comments of the big chick toker who made the video on Jared. He's seen text messages that Jared sent to kids. My guess he searched his name on YouTube and found a video. Yeah, but this video. other video is, or this other screenshot is him admitting it. It's, it's, a, it's a little different. Yeah, and beyond that, this is, this is, uh, our gold digger talk talking about her second gold dumper today. Yep. She's mm. pooped. She's pooped twice today, she says. That's a big day. And I was just thinking. Not thinking. Reflecting. Diet and mindset has literally changed my life. Hey, I ben? Have... Yeah. Isn't Dusty a beautiful bird? Yes. Dusty is a beautiful bird. I love... Dusty's rosy cheeks. Hey, Dusty's owner. Yo. Did Art Van Grow just take a beautiful turd? I can only imagine. <laughs> so many health problems growing up. Like, they literally was calling me a medical anomaly because, like, no one could fucking figure out what was wrong with me ever. Oh, she has stomach problems. We can't figure it out. Oh, my God, she has diabetes. But why is she so young? I don't know. Fucking Italian over here eating pastries, cookies. New Yorker eating bagels and fucking pizza all the time. Oh my God, I wonder why she got diabetes. Oh my God, it's as if we didn't take any science classes here. What? Literally, I have cured everything through fucking 
diet yes and diet can very much poison you. you you could have the body that can't eat a lot of things and you could change your diet and it can change your life it happens to tons of people people with celiac disease people with all, all types of ailments like if you could have just allergies to simple things and when you take that out it changes your life but you also said you, you change your diet and your mindset and yeah that's another thing that will change your fucking life your mindset's very important Yep. It's not a fucking eye opener here. You change th things that would keep you down, and now you're not as down. Imagine when you start realizing you don't have to be a fucking weird cunt to everybody. It's going to change your life, too. So go over here, pick it out an outfit. <laughs> an old regular from Hop, and I've been chatted again. <laughs> And he's like, what is this madness? The house arrest comment was earlier in our convo, but actually let me quote him. I'm sure you look absolutely stunning in the Xmas PJs and hand me ups like a cozy Marlena singer. Sexy as fuck. But remember, the Salvation Army never won any battles for anyone. Please, please dress like a sane person before your wellness check. Well, what are you wearing right now? And I was like. You know, Disney's busy free pants and just stuff to keep warm because I don't have heat or anything. And he was like, well, that's one way to like really like to look at your own fucking house arrest. And he recommended that I dress appropriately today for my wellness checkup, whatever, with the case manager that doesn't even know what this made up shit that I'm on even beats. But I'm just laughing over here. No, you made up some shit and pissed off some powerful people, apparently, and you got in trouble. About <laughs> all these people in life have popped in and out of my life the last three years, but it's all the people who consider themselves friends or family that I haven't heard anything from while going through domestic. My brain is firing really quick this morning, and none of these will post until I have service while I'm in my session. But <laughs> I just can't even stop laughing to literally get anything out anymore. My brain is just going so freaking quick. My brain is going so freaking quick. quick. Maybe your body is slow. Like, maybe you only seem to be going quick because you're doing nothing in the fucking forest right now? Exactly. I, I mean, uh, you're not talking a mile a minute. You're not saying anything profound a mile a minute. It might be your perception is warped from your lack of doing anything productive other than pooping twice. Disney. Oh, shit. That was the end of that. Uh, this is some more, like, Disney satanic stuff. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll Ooh. do that. What, you want to see that? Yeah, I love Disney satanic stuff. Um, okay. Disney has, of course, come out with their little demon show. I'm going to be reacting to it. Be sure to stick around till the end. Exposing Disney's agenda and also Satan's agenda. So it's kind of like vigilant Christian stuff he's nice. doing here. It's exposing Disney and Satan's agenda. Does Disney want to get their subscriber count up? Get at your life to get at like the Christians Satan that think wants this is no big deal. Yeah, Disney's hurting right now, right? They're hurting. That's why they had to make a deal with the devil because they just yeah. they're not popular. Everybody's doing... looking down on Marvel Phase Four, so they might as well allow Satan in. That think this is just another Hollywood nice little thing going on that we don't even have to worry about. The show is about a 13 year old that was impregnated by Satan. Check out what the actors gave away about the show. I love uh, that we are normalizing paganism. She's a witch. Easy. Okay. Actually, no. I mean, I, I the way that I approached Chrissy was similar to Aubrey. I'm here to tell you there are things getting into your life. Satan is impacting your life in more ways than you could understand. Yes. You know the Bible says in Ephesians 6:12, we wrestle not against flesh. No, Satan impacts your life more because you believe in it. Look, there's a reason Drunken Peasants podcast moved the Northwest. All hail Baphomet. Ah! Ah! In blood, but against principalities, rulers, and powers of the darkness of this world. Satan himself that is using Disney. They'll say that this is all fun and games and they're just playing around and they're just doing some cartoon. Remember when you were a kid, what type of shows you would be wanting to watch? Kids don't just watch kid shows. To all the parents out there that you think your kid is just watching little like five-year-old shows, open up your eyes because kids always want to watch the older stuff. And that exactly is what Disney knows. So I'm going to tell you how demons think about you in the current situation kids always want to so watch the older stuff you know what though more adults are fucking doing kid things now than ever 
So making adult shows as cartoons is profitable. If you don't want your kids to watch it, here's what you do. Give your kids other shit to do. When I was a kid, I was more interested in stuff geared towards kids, like until I became like a teenager. Like I was more interested in stuff that was more geared towards my age group. So I don't think he's completely right. I think there's a spectrum of it. Days just called me out. Uh, I, I I said Baphomet. I, I think I was going to say Payman. Payments to the Northwest. Hmm. Really fucked my... I'm, I'm a poser Satanist. Poser Satanist, I'm Billy the Fridge. School. I'm someone that remembers what the public school culture was like. It's getting worse and worse as the days goes by. Did you know, actually, there was a recent study done that showed how Christianity is one of the least influential religions on the next generation. About how every other religion is going to be gaining in popularity and society, but Christianity is just going to be suffering on the decline. Why? Because the next generation of young adults aren't continuing the faith that their parents had. And the reason is because Satan is using these tools to get to the next generation. And the parents just think everything or, is okay. Or, or because we're not blindly indoctrinated by the religion the way some other cultures might be. There's a whole lot of uh, grasp on other cultures to keep religion very strong. It's in their laws. Hello, Boglum Chronicles. Hello, hello again. Shubop, shubop. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 the reason we have a little more freedom to think for ourselves. We're not indoctrinating children at a young age anymore. We're 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 realizing that these Catholic institutions are are probably more evil than any Satanist could could be. Uh, there's some Satanists that are pretty evil. I think Anton LaVey was a real weird fuck. But uh, it, it, it's like you look at these mega churches that are buying jets and, and begging for all their people to feed them, to feed their greed and, and lust for needless shit. That's pretty fucking evil. And we're, we're waking up to it because people are abusing it. Well, I mean, also, like, Christianity used to be, like, the law of the land in many countries, and it was, like, it wasn't optional <laughs> to be a Christian. You had to be one, or you'd go to jail, uh, and that's how it is in a lot of Muslim countries still, and other parts of the world, there's, you know, pressure to be part of whatever the local religion is, and uh, a lot of nations that started out with a predominantly Christian population seem to have more secular governments. So no, it, it's not it's not mandated like it used to be. And for those of you that are calling me out for talking down on Anton LaVey, I like Anton LaVey. Fuck you all. I'm not. I'm. I, I think all religion is shit. Even Satan. It's Satanism isn't even a religion. <laughs> like it's a. It's, it's like an option of Christianity, isn't it? Well, no, not the Anton LaVey stuff. Mm. That that was a humanist, like a like a secular humanist yeah. philosophy with like dark mysticism, like peppered onto it to make it cool Anton basically. was Anton LaVey was just a juggalo without idolatry it's all he ever fucking was <laughs> I don't think juggalos existed then exactly that the idolatry of juggaloism took away from Anton LaVey's Satanism they pretty much just did what he did but focused on them like, instead of the the hedonistic like tactics. in like in yeah like in LaVeyan uh, Satanism an altar is just like a naked woman. The altar is like like a naked woman that would lay there and act as the altar. That was part uh -oh. of it. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I've read a couple of those books. I've busted nuts on altars. It's disgusting. Understand the authority we have in Christ because Disney's agenda is to make kids think that all this demonic stuff, that all this trans stuff, that all this gay stuff is just normal. That it's just how people do. Yeah, and it's demonic, just life and trans, you just gay. It's not normal. It's not normal. You just gotta understand. It's not normal. It's yeah. it's not being gay. Not normal. Being trans. Not normal. Being Satanist. Not normal. It's a perfectly fine outlier that we're trying to take all the stigma off of, so people can live their fucking lives. But you don't want them to live their lives. You want them to live your lives. And your life fucking sucks, dude. You're over here complaining about a fucking cartoon. Do better. Go pray to God. Ask him to give you something worth watching. Because I've seen Bible men. There's a reason why Disney's making this shit. Because you guys make trash. Yeah, I uh, didn't even know this existed. You're kind of like advertising it for me. And now I want to watch it. Because you yeah. don't like it. So you've kind of, you're doing the opposite. Yeah, who's the uh, girl there? Uh, 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 Aubrey Plaza? 
Yeah. I'll watch anything with Aubrey Plaza in it. Not because I'm a Satanist, because I'm a pervert. And everything. Single thing. And then in public education, they teach their kids about how Christianity is just some religion. Then they want to throw their own scientific religion and their own knowledge above God. And that's exactly how this world works. If you have coworkers, if you're on the football team and they play horrible music in your locker room, stand up. Go talk to your coach. Go talk to your principal and tell them and say, I'm not dealing with this horrible music. You better <laughs> cut this music out. Take this you're going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> the rise of uh, young Kyle, uh, Karen, <laughs> Kyle, son of Karen. I mean, like, don't. In this scenario, you're on a football team. You know who's getting targeted on the field coming up? Like, because, like, because you're narking out and complaining to the coach about other people's music. Yeah, you're a target. Speaker away. And if they want to tell you, no, you can't take the speaker away, you got to get over it, then you tell them. You DM me on Instagram. If you have a public oh, school. Oh, yes, DM me. I need the corn torrent. I need the corny content from all you fucking uh, the weird, weird cornfield Christians. You know, you know who the, the greatest Christian content creator is? Who? Weird Al Yankovic. That guy makes the best fucking content. He's a avid Christian, and you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it because he's not a fucking weirdo about it. He just makes good stuff that everybody can love. And, and if you don't love, if you don't love Weird Al Yankovic, then you might be whatever these people think Satanists are. You're that bad. He's the best a bunch of trash music if you have a teacher that's saying a bunch of trash things record it and send me a dm and we might just do some work out here we might just do some exposing we out might here. Just know do I'm, some work. I'm fired up i'm tired of this stuff in the oh, world you go man. kyle i'm tired of kids getting getting just completely manipulated when you're a young you person this, you don't understand you think you're your own person you think you're I'm going so the way that you want to no, you're really angry just going right the way now. that everybody else is I going i want you, do you to view my cool videos because i want to be the next vigilant christian low trends do you think it's cool to just talk and think village like the rest of the world. The village Last Christian. time I checked, Jesus didn't die on the cross with nails in his hands and a spear in his side and a crown of thorn on his on a crown of thorn on his heads to make up on his what, heads? what about what about his shoulder the, from carrying that cross, the, dude? Is tired of life. He was he was trying to say a yes. crown of thorns on his head, but he said a crown of thorn on his heads. And what about that massive weight on Christ's shoulder from carrying the cross? I hate when Christians forget some of the passions Us of the like Christ. The world. Get them all or to shut make up us more trendy, to make us more cool. No, he died on that cross so that we could be free from sin. Because sin feels good for a moment. It's like a microwave. It, it feels good for a moment. It feels good for a moment. It's like a microwave. Is he talking about microwaving a watermelon and then fucking the hole you poured into it? Is that what? he just out himself? He's just out himself? He's I talking have... about microwave watermelon fucking. I know it. Dude, you're you're It's only good for a little bit, dude. After a while it goes back to being cold fucking watermelon. This guy just outed himself. Got you. Dead to rights. You sick fuck. You watermelon fucking fucker. Okay. <laughs> The plastic melts through, and for eternity, hell is not a cool place. Hell is not a flex. Everybody that made all the money in the world, and they got all the popularity, and they thought they were the coolest thing. But if they were living for sin, if, they're, if you're living for the world, it means absolutely nothing. None of it lasts. Hey, yo, Chevy on the sponsorship. Woo. Fuck a spaceship. Hop on a sponsorship. Oh, this is something else. So that was the end of that. Let's play uh, some of the Cobes stuff that we have. It's interesting. Cobes went to a Guar show recently. So that's interesting. I saw a picture from it. He looked like he was having a hell of a time. Yeah. I crowned Thorn when he answers permits. <laughs> 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 Majorly awesome. I crown thorn when Hedzer's permits. <laughs> You're wild, man. You guys should sign up for our Patreon. It's patreon.com slash DP. Immediately following this episode, we're going to do a live reaction to chapter, I think it's chapters six and seven of the uh, Brent Spiner fan fiction Ooh. book. Oh, no, we lost Dusty. Oh, no. Um... Was Dusty imperative to? The... No, I'm okay. just I'm just seeing what happened. The the last uh, few episodes of this have been a ton of fun. We've got a lot of new subscribers that have been enjoying with us. And if you aren't on that boat yet, 
I recommend it. Ten dollars. And this is something that when we wrap this up, we're gonna continue doing these uh, special little little post shows. Post shows. But they're they're gonna be uh, serial in nature sometimes. Yeah. That'll be it'll be fun. It'll continue to be fun forever. Also, uh, link pinned in the chat and in the description. We have a sponsor. It's Vance Global. They provide uh, amazing products of THCO and Delta-8 and CBD in the form of cigarettes and gummies. Um, I've already seen a few orders go through, so this is really cool because I know this is a good fit for our audience because most of you guys like to get high. And this is a way to get you high, even if you live in a state where it's not uh, where like regular cannabis isn't legal. This is legal in a lot of states. Check your your local laws, but since it's federally legal, it, they can just hey, ship it to you. Just join the Patreon for a year. Here's to thank you. Ninety three more episodes. Yeah. Well, cheers. Watashi, thank, thank you. Thank you. We also um, got Chevy uh, saying, "Take this and like it." Hell yeah! yeah and a generic um, minority saying, "I love you, Billy Boy." Here's an e kiss. So. Uh, Link in the description. Uh, use the coupon code PEASANTS. Thank you. Use coupon code PEASANTS at checkout. You'll get 20% off. And we, uh, we we get a cut of that, too, over here at DP. So it's like a win-win. You get something good for you. You get a discount. We get a little something. Check it out. Do they uh, ship only in the North uh, in the North America or like I don't in think the United ship, States? They ship all over the United States. Okay. Um, and they can use like the U.S. Postal Service since it's federally legal. Because of the farm bill that passed under Trump, these sort of uh, these hemp products are now federally legal. Another win for Donald Trump, or was it put in place when Obama was there? And it just no, it was it, it was during Trump. It was the farm bill. It was a Trump creation. Yeah, because before that, well, I don't know if he created it, but he like signed it into law when it passed the House and the Senate. Um, and what it is, is, I mean, for years, it wasn't legal to even grow industrial hemp in the United States. And it was a huge cash crop that farmers could have benefited from being able to grow. And it made hemp federally legal to grow. And people have figured out how to extract these chemicals from hemp, industrial hemp, to get high. So that's what it is. Want to get high? Yeah. Um, all right. Let's check out a little bit of... Cobes here. Uh, here he uh, he takes a spicy challenge. What? Yeah. Boglum Chronicles picks the best like eight and sixteen bit music. What up, Patreon? You may have noticed that in my last joke video, I didn't have my spikes, my bandana, or my necklace on because. I'm going to need to hit the shower after I do this challenge and possibly eat some ice cream because this is fucking insane. What? Why? Oh, my lord, YouTube. Oh, so because of the spicy challenge? two things from uh -oh. the pastures over at the Flamethrower Candy Company. Now, realistically, these are both 9 million Scovilles, but you don't eat this for this like challenge. You, you try 9 million Scoville units. Hold it in there for as long as you can. Oh, boy. So what I'm going to do oh is boy. I'm going to literally, I'm going to eat the little nitro gummy bear. And after I get done eating it, we're going to put a five-minute timer on my phone, which will go off when it goes, ah ooga ah ooga an old car, old car ooga sound. And that's how we know. You don't <laughs> Thanks really for letting us know what that was. Of Satan, you're supposed to hold it in your mouth for five minutes. I think you're supposed Egghead to do more than that, this. girls or guys that want to put one in your mouth. You're supposed to do more than that. You got to really On work the fucker. The back, it's, it gives you a, you know what I'm saying? It says different levels. One minute is coward. Two minutes or oh, zero seconds, you're a coward. One minute, you're a wimp. Two minutes, show off. Three minutes, lose a feeling. For what is reality? <laughs> and cheekily holding it in for the full five minutes is this is nine one one. What is your emergency? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, but I will be saving this ice cream for a drink combo. Yes. Okay. You're gonna eat it. My all. YouTube fans sent me some birthday cake Oreos in my PO box. I haven't opened them yet. Wild. So. Did he have uh, another birthday? I, 
No, his birthday is like in March or April. Oh, he's just got birthday cake Oreos. Most, like, from Pentecola, I think that's how birthdays like, work. You only get one of them a year. A mixer to, comp- to complement the taste. We'll add the crushed up birthday cake Oreos and this, uh, and this cookies and cream ice cream. Should be an interesting combo. Sticky's saying, dare I say Cobes is being kind of charismatic? I'm telling you. Cobes is charismatic. The only time you forget it is when he's being gross, which happens to be a lot. It's not his fault. <laughs> he this covers his charis- charisma in, in yuck. He's going to look like he got pepper sprayed or something oh. in a second here. There's a good chance he's going to have snot flying yeah, out. This probably. is not for the weak, man. Hey, Day's coming through pledging that Patreon. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. So, so, we're not wasting any goddamn time. We'll just get all these open. So it's just boom, 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 you know? Is that the Satan's toe oh, sucker? Dude. I've done the toe of Satan. <laughs> Time so, to open wrapper. <laughs> so let's see, let's see if he's opening the wrapper is longer than him putting the sucker in his mouth. Challenge, like I said, and the little knife. He's already like there separately. He's like almost ten seconds in. So yeah, these these fuckers are intense, dude. Like no fucking joke. Well, I would I've probably to- take longer than this to open that. Like I'd probably take forty seconds. I always have trouble with these. Damn Satan suckers. challenge twice. The second time was more, uh, you know. I'm Just pretty sure Egghead bastard, did this dude. in one of his videos. Like a pepper. Just, oh, ridiculous. Yeah, Egghead did a Satan's Toe gimmick. Yeah. I've uh, been dreading this because I know how much it's going to burn, but it's going to make my Patreon subscribers happy. So, Satan's skin tag? Is that what it is? And instead I- of doing this and putting it public on YouTube like I normally would, it's going to be a unlisted video just for my Patreon subscribers. So yeah, it's all He's the Cobra almost fans. at a minute opening Subscribe this now. King Cobra JFS is Patreon. We have a basic We've option, hit the one which is six dollars and sixty six cents. He could put that toe in his mouth for less than a minute, and it would be impressive. Then your top. Should, t- it'd be more impressive if he put one of his literal toes in his mouth. Uh, I don't know which one I'd rather watch. The foot with like all the like weird scabs and shit. It's a no for me. Cobra's foot looks like Trumpster Bob's face. Here, which is twenty bucks. So, and if you can't subscribe to the Patreon, donating to my PayPal or buying some of that tactical soap this Father's Day, King, King Cobra is blah, 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 blah. This Father's Day, King Cobra JFS is telling you, buy your dad a bar. I like how he started the pitch over again. He's like, <laughs> reset. It's live, pal. Tactical soap for Father's Day. Okay. Tactical soap would make a great Father's Day gift. A nice way to spice up you and your your uh, your dad, mom's marriage. Oh, yeah, everyone wants to do that, right? <laughs> everyone wants their parents to. They want to know about their parents fucking more. Honestly, if my if my parents were still together and uh, they're both alive, uh, I, I, I I'd I'd be cool with them fucking. I mean, I'm cool with it. I just don't want to, like, know about it or contribute to it. I only said that because my mom's probably watching and it'd gross her out. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right, so let's get this goddamn sucker open. And once we get the sucker open, we'll open up the... And you think to yourself... It's one little gummy bear. You know, gummy bears are incredibly easy to eat. They're tiny. You just chew them up and swallow them. But one's all you need, dude. <laughs> and then sets your throat on fire on the way Sucker down. Sucker is pissing me off. Come on, you bastard. That's the worst for me. Like, I can handle hot shit in my mouth. But once it hits my stomach, that's when I do really bad. Remember when I... Yeah, you died. Yeah. It was like you was... turned the stream off. And yeah, yeah. went and laid on the floor. My... my my stomach felt like a big, like, flaming balloon that was about to pop that was, like, on fire. Yeah. Awkwardly enough, my stomach doesn't have oh, that God effect with hot shit. Hot. My yeah. mouth burns. My face burns. Yeah, I'm fine with that, usually. Like, it still burns, but... Are you worried you might have an ulcer or just... something? Yeah, I've been tested for that before, but... Yeah. What the fuck is this, right? 
No, but I guess having uh, hernias can affect that in the past too. I probably just yeah, have layers of fat fucker. inside of my stomach that, that, uh, that blocks from getting the into the edge sensors. Of hell right here, but it'll be just fine. Well, you have a strong I'll stomach. Survive, that's why you could fine, do. But uh, that's why you could do those eating contests. You know. Be warned, I am a professional yeah. goth. There's probably more room for the heat to float around in there. <laughs> this at home. He's a professional goth. Four. Don't try this. Three. Two. Lucifer, protect me on this one. There's the gummy bear. And lift off. He's a madman for putting it in his teeth. He let it sit there on his teeth for a minute. Fuck me, this is hot. (laughs) Is he going to spit it out? Nope. What is he drinking there? He's he's already, like, his eyes are welling up. Uh, Now he's going to put the Satan's toe in his mouth. Is the timer going to go off? Our wish... challenge has begun. They put the timer for him to open up the toe, but not for how long yeah, it's been in his mouth. Scobles is nothing to fuck around with. Is it he... like cinnamon flavored or something? He moved it off to the side. It would have been great if he left it on his tongue. It's probably cinnamon. Oh, the drool. The fucking uh, drool. No relief ah. for five whole minutes. Ah. Holy fuck. Imagine if he saved all that drool like the gamer girls saved their bath water. Like some Belle Delphine bath water. Yeah. What's a boglum cow uh, drool, drool water go for? Been going. Impressive. Four minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. This shit's harder than Billy Elijah's. Oh, ah. naked ass. What did he just say? Harder say than she's old it's hotter than Billy yeah. Elijah's of naked I, of age naked ass. I think he means Billy Eilish. Yeah, of course. But that was wrong on hard. so many levels. <laughs> how how much would y'all pay for a cup of bog drool? <laughs> God damn, dude. Uh, Here's a real challenge. Drinking a, a shot glass full of bog drool after he's made it with this hot thing. That's like, fuck all the one chip challenge bullshit. If you could drink a shot of bog drool after he sucked this sucker, you're a real man and or woman. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Last minute, YouTube. Ah. Uh, uh. Can you still consider it a win when you've drooled all over yourself? I mean, he's probably going to touch that drool for weeks and re-injure himself with the heat. It's probably will make it. All right, so now for the second part, you got to put it up your butt. <laughs> well, that's yeah. too much. Uh, yeah. Aren't you supposed to close your mouth around yeah, it? Yeah, you are. You're not supposed to just you like know. wet your spit drain out yeah oh god it hurts a shot glass full of bog drool uh, topped off with some boglum snot let's go spicy bog drool shot that's a that's a cocktail still in my mouth barely it's funny how he had to say of seconds. age when Billie eilish is of oh, age so close like, yeah. Like, you shouldn't have to specify that because she is of age. But she did have music videos out when she wasn't of age. Okay, that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't matter. <sighs> it's like it's like Britney Spears. She's 40-something years old now, and she had music videos out when she wasn't of age. You know, if I was like, Britney Spears is hot, like, people know I'm talking about her now. You know, it's uh, you shouldn't have to clarify like everything. And I will say, because she was older than me, it was okay for me to think she was hot when I watched her when she wasn't eighteen. Sure, I mean, me and her are like the same age. I think we were born the same year. I think I might be like a month older than her. Ah, uh, 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 ah, Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> My guy. He does just not, like spits onto his carpet. He does not 
clean well enough no. to cover the carpet with spit and bog drool. <coughs> ah, he's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Everything hurts now. It'll be fine. I'll cool off. Oh. Yes. Okay, oh, so wow. there's that. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, when when I had friends that would uh, that joined the military, the, the thing they always told me that freaked me out is how they make you go into the gas chamber and take a nice big breath of the gas there and it like burns your skin and your eyes and you like throw <laughs> up and all the snot in your face just like starts yeah. draining out it's it's terrible it it just sound it, it's it's because they just like do it to torture you you know well, well they, they do it to condition you right yeah you so know you know what gas feels it. like yeah. in case you ever happen so you're not like taken out of right but then they also like film it and shit too it's uh it, it does not seem fun at all and they make sure you do it too. Like if you can hold your breath a long time, they'll they'll make sure you get a breath of it. Yeah, which you um, should. Yeah, they should test your limits. That's good training. Um. So I feel like shit, but I'm going to press onward. Take some day quail and just look at that. Oh yeah. By the way, he had like. He had like COVID or something, something like. A, Did he get it at the concert? No, no. This is before. This is before, and and he's like hacking and coughing and oh. talking about how bad he feels. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Now we did notice that when Cobes washed his hair, his hair looked thicker. You know what I mean? Like part of the reason why you can see the top of his head so easily. Is that his hair is all greasy and like stuck together in strands? Yeah, he could have the appearance of more hair if he washed his hair more often. But, but if he washed his hair more often, he would not have the character of being the cool little boglum boy. I don't know. I I don't know. True. It might looking be forward be to the Guar concert in a couple of hours. My fans spent a lot of money on the ticket for me, so I'm gonna man up and just. Drink some day quill and go to the concert, and I should be fine. He took day COVID quill. to the concert. I mean, he, I don't. It wasn't confirmed that it was COVID, but it could very likely. He's be. like, yeah, I'm sick as fuck, but I'm just gonna take some day quill and go to the concert. Yep. Well, welcome. <laughs> I'm glad. Super Biden, spreader. I'm glad Biden told us that COVID was over because yeah. this would have been dangerous if not. I gotta run to the bathroom. All right. Uh, <laughs> last night I had. The sweats, temperature spikes, and the shakes. The sweats, temperature spikes, and shakes. Yes, that happened to me when I had COVID. So it sounds like COVID. And like just a really uh, foggy sort of head. But Another COVID symptom. It could just be the flu. But Press onward. I'm not going to let getting sick stop me from going to the Guar concerts. I truly appreciate my fans. Otherwise, you know... Yeah. But anyways, YouTube, looking forward to that Guar concert tonight. That'll be awesome. Okay. I saw Guar back in the old days where they still had Dave Brocky as their singer, like the original, mostly the original lineup. And then a friend of mine played bass for them for a while after the original guy quit for a little while. Um, I can't imagine what their show is like now because it's like mostly totally different people. I remember they had the woman singer for a little while. Volvatron was her name. Um, but I don't think she's part of it anymore. She laters. All right. I guess I'll wait for uh, Billy to come back. In the meantime, um, just a quick reminder, uh, Jared was reported to his local authorities today. Deservingly so. I'm not confident that anything will come of it, but I couldn't just see the screenshots that I saw and like, uh, and like, you know, just turn it into content and not make sure that it was reported to the right people. I'm just not confident. Like, it just seems like it's really hard to uh, make something like this 
you know, gain any traction. But I guess we'll see. <clears throat> what up, YouTube? Oh, boy. It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another video. The Guar show was epic, dude. I had a good time, an awesome time at the Guar show. They put on one hell of a show. It was cool watching him squirt blood into the crowd and everything. And you know what? Thank you to the fans who are at the Guar show who asked for selfies, you know? And fuck the trolls, dude. I own your lives. I what own happened? your lives. I thought my trolls said they were going to jump me at the Guar concert. What happened, you pussies? Uh, they were hoping you'd mention it, and now you've given them what they wanted. I made it very clear to all the assholes who were harassing me at the concert that if you try to attack me, I will stab you in the fucking neck, dude. And Guar won't be the only one squirting blood. Honestly, I rule my trolls' lives, otherwise they wouldn't try so hard to fuck with me. And it's beyond sad and pathetic. The trolls can't be me, so they gotta harass me, because they're jealous losers. But anyways, thank you to uh, the fans who sent me the uh, Guar ticket. That was most definitely what's up. I had a blast. Guar shows are pretty much the same as they have always been. Great music, spew and all that fun shit. Yeah. Seen them with Bishop. Blow there as the new singer a few time and he does a great job. I was I was in the front of the crowd when I went, and I remember when I came home I looked in the mirror and my face had like all this dried fake blood all over it. It was pretty awesome. I recorded some footage at the concert. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> COVID. Mm. But I did want to give this update, you know, the aftermath. Uh, the concha kicked ass. Fuck the trolls. The fans are where it's at. Anyways, YouTube. I'm going to be taking a brief break from YouTube until I... I'm very surprised that he said this. Start feeling better. <coughs> I seem to have caught a mild cold, so it is what it is. <coughs> but um, it, I don't it think it's a matter, cold. Because when I come back to YouTube, I'll still be famous. I know what the troll. I already know what the fucking trolls are gonna text me when they see this video. You better not go go live, Cobra. It's better not go thing. live, boy. Thanks for watching my videos. Better not watch them. Oh, Guar plays in Seattle in two days on Saturday night. Actually, it's interesting. That's what I say. <laughs> Anyways, YouTube, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Guar. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? You know what kills me about my YouTube trolls? I don't have to harass you fuckers in real life to get inside your head. I live rent-free inside my trolls' heads. Otherwise, they wouldn't harass me. And it's sad, YouTube. It really is. I can't go to the Guar show, guys. I, we, we have a show on Saturday. It's beyond sad. Unless you guys want to get us to the goal tonight... I mean, we still promised them a bonus show. Yeah, we'll do it just four hours early so you can go to Aguar. I don't even have tickets for it or anything. Guys have to also get to the goal tonight with tickets for Guar. <laughs> it's at the Showbox Soto. I still kind of feel like shit, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but not by much. Better not smoke about it, boy. That's is this just, him at the Guar show? I don't think he's at the Guar show, but he's, he's outside. Just outside smoking? Yeah, I'm not sure where, but... <laughs> he said he was going to take some time off until he felt better, and then he was and back within eight hours. And I know I'm right, because the trolls won't stop texting me. 
How do they get yeah. his number? He has to like give it to the wrong person. I remember that happened to Onision. Obsession with me, and honestly, I think and the first, the day I first met Onision in person, he was getting all these crazy calls on his phone because his number leaked. Any psychological yeah. help for it? Aww. Drinking that mount. Oh, God, I hate how he slurps. It's a cute doggy. <laughs> I do like cute doggies. Yeah, like my my little dog yesterday came back in from outside and her she wouldn't put any weight on her one leg, but she must have just like sprained it or something because it was fine. Yeah, like she's fine now. I want to keep kicking ass and doing my thing and fuck the trolls. Good, you're gonna fuck the trolls. That's hot. Um, what the fuck is up, YouTube? Fuck pedophiles. Uh, well, the, fuck. Be careful who you're telling that to, Copes. Fuck them. You better tell that to of age people. There was <laughs> an official tweet from Gays Against Groomers that they're reclaiming the uh, MAP acronym to say uh, Mankind Against Pedophiles. It's no longer being. Called. I am a cartography enthusiast, and I would like to reclaim that uh, that entire word uh, because it was something so wholesome and educational before, and now it's been corrupted. What if we start calling PDF files? What if we start calling like atlases and maps and everything car cartographs, Cart cartographs. like photographs, but they're cartographs. So all the new hmm. instead of calling them maps, because nobody really uses maps anyways much. I mean, anymore. I use Google Maps. That's maps. Yeah, just that should physical. be called Google Cartography. That'd be hilarious. They they do sky maps too. Google has like a sky map thing where you can like hold your phone up and it'll show you like where where the stars are and which stars are like below I, the horizon. I prefer if we started to call it aerial cartograph. Aerial cartography. The, the aerial cartograph. There's a really cool map store uh, in Pike Place. Where like the almost the whole store is just maps. It's full of cartographs. Yeah, yeah. There's like those cool ones that are like made out of wood. There's like the depth ones where they show you like how deep different bodies of water are. If, if they're we all carved bring, out of wood. If we make cartograph a thing, you could you could go around and instead of asking for directions, you'd go to somebody like, "Can I get your cartograph?" <laughs> Minor attracted person. Now, you already know how I feel about this, YouTube. Your boy King Cobra fucking hates pedophiles more than he loves Ozzy Osbourne. Damn, dude. Never let your hate outweigh your love. Never never let it outweigh your love. What would Cobes do if it came out that Ozzy Osbourne was a PDF file? I don't know. He'd probably <laughs> separate I'm not saying the, he is. He'd probably but... separate the art from the uh, uh, You think so? Autist. Kids are more precious than rock and roll, man. <laughs> See? You know what pisses me off? Because I happen to have a, several friends who are gay and trans and what have you. So I don't appreciate... I'm willing to bet they're just like online acquaintances that it, he's talking about. I mean, he could be talking about uh, War Horse or whatever. Oh, you're about. right. You're right. Warp Zone or whatever. Warlord. Sasha. Warlord, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because they are trans, apparently. Yeah. These fucking More asshole pedophiles trying to become a part of the, uh, you know. No, it's fucking dumb, dude. It is fucking stupid, YouTube. I took some day quill and I got some money for the concert, so I'm feeling a little bit better. That's most definitely what's up, Cobes. I'm going to take a shower before <coughs> I go to the concert, so I got that tactical soap on, yeah. Oh, damn. He's gonna get. Uh, he's gonna be reverse gang banged when he gets there by all the ladies. I wonder if he got any. You want my personal? Really? You really wonder that? Yeah. Like, like as if that's a possibility. It's always possible the Cobra gets laid. 
opinion, YouTube. It should be legal to kill pedophiles. That's my personal fucking opinion. First time offenders are chemically castrated. Second time offenders get shot by a firing squad. Plus, somebody at a Guar show might think he's one of the Muppets that Guar has on stage with him. They might try and fuck it just to be part of the show. You have a robust uh, imagination. I do. It's one of my gifts. You know, it's disgusting. This fucking woke culture we live in, dude. And this like, is a weird shift. Two grown ass women want a lesbian out. The lesbian doesn't out. Doesn't mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a line you shouldn't cross, dude. What's that line? I happen, to, I happen to know a lot of people who are a part of the LGBTQ plus community. And these people have a hard time. So Hawkeye says that this is good. Uh, acceptance in so our I society. guess we'll check it out. But I, I got to make a run. And it doesn't help when you got these sick fucking pedophile pieces of shit trying to normalize it. And it's like, look, there's a line. Okay, you know how I feel about this. F I like how he's immediately countering Jared's disgusting leaked DM. Like, like Cobes is that in tune with what is good in this world that he's got a PSA on deck to counteract Jared's insidious leaked DM. Fuck sickos, dude. Big ups to the cab company I took to get my money from the bank. That's most definitely what's up. That's most definitely what's up, cab company. There's a main cab company I go with here in town. I'm not going to plug them on my YouTube. Just because I don't want them getting harassed by my fucking YouTube trolls. How many cab companies are in Wyoming? They're going to they're gonna be able to harass all four of them. Like the, It's... It's unfortunate. But you know who you are. <clears throat> he wanted to ride bike to concert. It should be legal to kill sick fucks, dude. That's just my personal opinion. That's just my personal opinion, Tubes. The problem with that is if you can get enough people to, to uh, if you can convince enough people that anyone's a, a sicko, then it's a it's a good tool to eliminate people you don't like. Yeah. Um. So like, if some people convinced got convinced that uh, Cobra was a sicko. Just because two grown ass gay men want to suck each other's dicks and adopt children to be raised in a safe and loving household. Does not mean it's okay. Does not mean it's okay for you to fuck your dog. Yeah. It's the truth. Fucking woke culture, dude. <laughs> Is woke that woke culture? culture? Is that woke culture? People are getting cancel cultured for the dumbest of reasons. No, it's disgusting, dude. Like what? Like, fuck sickos, dude. Yes. Dave Chappelle gets cancel cultured for sharing Daphne's story. But then you got all these assholes who are trying to normalize pedophiles and shit, and it pisses me off. It gives me anxiety, to be honest. You know, it's weird, because, like... I'm obsessed with hating sickos, and my trolls are obsessed with me being one when I'm not. You know, it's just, it's weird, dude. And it's unhealthy. I think those Maybe two things are really bad across the board. Yeah. Healthy. It honestly makes my trolls look like sickos, to be honest. Fuck sickos. Like they're projecting their insecurities on Cobra. That's most definitely not what's up. I 
Like, fuck sickos, dude. <laughs> he, like, runs out of things to say, and then he's just like, fuck sickos, dude. Uh, you know what I think we should do next? I think we should uh, open our package over there. Fuck sickos. We got. Uh, we have a friend of the show who works for. You want to open it? We have a friend of the show who works for the Hulkster. Mr. I am Hulk, a Hulk, real Hulk. American. Hulk Hogan. Whoa. You, it's funny because it's yellow, but it's still invisible. This looks so cool right now. This is actually a plastic bag, but it just looks like Hogan's just like floating. It's a yellow bag, so if you put Hogan above the DP logo, they'll kind of know what the bag looks like. Um, this is for you. Ooh. I was a big fan of the New World Order red. That's cool, then. That's cool that you got the red one. We just got this cool... Uh, New World Order. Hulk Hogan picture. It's so cute. It's a giant sticker, dude. Red and yellow. It's a sticker. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is a giant sticker. That's it's crazy. It's a sticker. That's crazy. I have to put this um, on everything. Um, I got this uh, Randy Savage shirt. The Macho Madness. What is this thing? Probably a wristband. Um, is it a beer cozy? No, it is a wristband. It's an NWO black and white wristband. Lit. Are those Macho Man socks? I think they're... Ho oh, yeah, yeah, they are. They are Macho Man socks. That's cool. Macho Man. It's a Hulkamania belt. That's nice. Um... This is yours too. This is really cool. As far as the the like design on the shirt, that's one of my favorites. Oh, this is cool. There's two of these. Uh, so this one's for you. Beer bottle opener. Yeah, yeah. It's a Ho it's Hollywood Hogan. I'm Hulk Hogan. Have a beer on me. Crack. Crack. Brother. Brother. What else I got here is this. That's a Hogan shirt. This is this is the birth of the New World Order on this shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when he like betrays WCW and the fans. Brother, you can call this the New World Order of Wrestling, brother. New World Order. Cool. Swag bag, baby. Oh, damn. It's like a collectible, like a trading card from back in the day. It's macho <laughs> and, and Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. <gasps> Thank you for the awesome you. package. Yeah, we appreciate it. And our, uh, if you guys want to send us anything, our uh, mailing address is in the description below if you ever want to send us anything. Um. I got these cool guy glasses, too. <laughs> Are those NWO or? I don't know. They're, you know. Uh... They're Rodman wore those at Hog Wild. Hog Wild. Oh, damn. Um, Did Dusty get a little Dusty bird shirt? I don't know what happened hey, to him. Hey, Mythic Templar, thank you for the tips. Interesting, during the wrestling merch segment, we hit 316. <laughs> Wrong wrestler. <laughs> Definitely in the conversation is one of the greatest ever like obviously hogan has to be in the conversation rick flair like norman smiley norman smiley there's no just, there's just a list of greats that have to be in the conversation norman smiley was a good trainer though he was like a, a trainer yeah he had a job for a long time after wcw folded yeah 
Yeah, and he was like a like a journeyman type guy that would, you know, make other guys look better yeah. when they wrestled with him. Um, <clears throat> so tonight, immediately following this episode, for all the patrons, $10 or more, uh, we're going to go do a post show exclusive to all patrons, $10 and above. Now would be a good time to sign up because you can go back and watch everything we've done so far. Uh, and you can watch live tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to do the Patreon private show, Actual Mania. Yeah, it's a wonderful cringe. It's a wonderful thing right now for ten dollars or above. You can come on in, hang out with us, play Tiddly Winks, all that good stuff. Tiddly Winks, Lemmy Winks. Make haste, Paris Hilton. Make haste. Make haste. Check this out. Hey, time, time to leave, buddy. Come on. You had enough to eat. Let's go. Come on. This must be in Alaska or something, like like in a place where it's really normal to just see a bear outside. This, this bear is just like walking. You just start throwing food out in the parking lot so he I gets no full. I have no idea. <laughs> You'd probably have to call like like whoever handles the wildlife locally to try and like relocate it or something. I know 7-Eleven's got a medicine aisle. I'd probably get sleeping pills and just pack them into like honey buns and throw a bunch of honey buns out there and so the motherfucker Yeah, so that was interesting. Brian Field says sadly this bear will probably be put down. I don't know if if he'll be put down if he doesn't attack anybody um but they should like trank it and take it like out into the woods or something. <laughs> um, Quiotic Dragon says Or give it no does More interesting content Last thing I want to do is give a fucking bear a stimulant I'd rather give him beer Before I gave him fucking no does Yeah I think only if the beer Only if the bear attacks somebody Do they usually kill it Like normally they'll trank it And take it Like relocate it If it's just around You know so, so in a couple minutes here, we're going to end this show and we're going to go do the the post show. You guys should all go there. You guys should sign up. Patreon.com slash DP. Sign up. We're doing the final installment. Or not, not the, the final. final yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm dumb. Sorry, I'm like trying to. Another installment. Another installment. Yeah, that's what I meant. Another lovely installment of the... Brent Spiner Book Club. Brent Spiner Fan Fiction DP Book Club. Patrons $10 and above can enjoy this as well as our actual mania tomorrow night. What a great time to become a $10 member. Yeah. Another thing I noticed that we haven't even promoted. There's only two days left in this month. And then what ends up happening with Patreon is it processes all of the, all of the patrons and it usually takes a few weeks for it to finish but as of right now we're actually only uh 20 23 um or no no i'm sorry 26 or so patrons away from the goal we had set of 450 oh so that's something that it just kind of crept up on us so the more patrons we get, the better. You should check it out. Um, yeah, because we do fat ass and meatball, which it has not come to fruition. We get really close to it, but then we drop at the beginning of each month, and then we spend the rest of the month kind of like slowly building our way back up. All right. I think we're going to go there now. In, well, in just a moment. I'm going to set something up really quick. You guys got to come become patrons if you want to hang out with us tonight. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do Actual Mania, so there will be a pre-show. And then Saturday we're back for that big bonus show. We are 48.37% of the way to our goal today. Very good. Very Thank good. Thank you guys for all the love today. Much appreciated. I know I saw some Seth Looks and Coop Car giving that big love. Much appreciated. Everybody else, love, love that you guys uh, came through today. We started a little low for the day. I think... Uh, because we were Wednesday yesterday instead of Tuesday as normal. All right. We are going to do the post show now. We'll see you all there. All Good right. Night.
In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.